uh, October the 10th, 2023. I'm going to be your host tonight, Dana Durnfurt. Hello, everybody. And it always takes me just a moment to get all this working right. So, talking about Fukushima, <laughs> for over a decade, the International Atomic Energy Agency to conduct first extensive sampling of marine environment near the Fukushima Daiichi since the start of the treated water release. So that works if you pretend that the buildings don't look like that. That's the only way that narrative works. So what they're claiming is nothing got out of the building and whatever it did was equal to 2.2 grams of tritium. And each year, if you chop that coin into one gram gold coin into 16 pieces, that's how much they say will be released each year. Or divide 1.32 grams of salt by 22, and 0 0.062 would be 122 of that bit of flakes of salt. So we don't have any functional, I don't even know if that's a proper word we can use for this narrative. We don't have any criminal organization. The biggest criminal organization is like for watchdogs is International Atomic Energy Agency, but they're not watchdogs. They're not regulators either on top of that. And so here's the International Atomic Energy Agency's headlines from the day saying since the start of the treated water release, treated water, water, W-A-T-E-R. <laughs> Anything goes in that building when it comes out is not water anymore has none of those attributes. It's lethal, lethal doses by the leader. So it's, it's, it's unconscionable that, it's unconscionable that we're trying to have this conversation. International Atomic Energy Agency scientists and the international scientific observers International Scientific Observers, who's not going to observe that. <laughs> You've lost your planet, folks. You're in real trouble. Your days of sitting in silence are over. Now you're sitting and waiting for the end. You have abrogated your responsibilities on a scale never heard of before. The agency sample will be used to collaborate, collaborate, collaborate. Japan's environmental monitoring assess the country's relevant technical capabilities. They're brilliant lawyers. That's literally the only attribute you have. Since the ELP treated water discharges began in August this year, uh, but the emissions have been going nonstop for over 12 years, going on 13 years, almost, well, almost 13 years, rather. And the whole world is saying that never happened. So every media, every university, every government agency on the entire planet claiming nothing has happened. There's actually four buildings that are missing. The mission will mission the scam of humanity will provide samples for the agency's project initiated in 2014 to support quality assurance of broader marine environmental monitoring by Japan's laboratories 2014. This is the International Atomic and Energy Agency, which should never be in any conversation to do with nuclear. 
And so that's that's pretty sad to say something like that because I'm pretty sure the majority of the population is convinced that the international so-called atomic energy agency, which Let me give you three headlines. Uh, let me give you one headline. Yeah, let's try to get through. We've got a short time to get through it. We're just going to try to get out a 30 minute or so video. Been a real bad day for me. Nasty headache, horrible pain in the neck. And my heart is broken. We've lost our planet. And we don't have another planet to replace it. I'm going to check Amazon and see if they got a planet Earth there to replace this one, but they probably don't. I think they're all sold out. Worse than a meltdown, spent nuclear fuel pools catches fire. Gee, that sounds pretty scary. Let's check. The fuel pool was at the top of the buildings. Huh. Wait a second. There's no tops to the buildings. From 16th to the 23rd of October, the International Atomic Energy Agency team, now they haven't been there for 12 years. This is the 13th year. They've been there five times, all of them um, this year. They're, they're not taking samples. They claim they are now, 13 years later. How come they didn't take samples for the first 12 years? We'll observe their collection and processing of seawater. They're so two-faced and you'll see that yourself in a minute. The collection and processing of seawater, marine sediment, and fish samples from the coastal waters in the vicinity of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disease factory. Two staff from the International Atomic Energy Agency Marine Environment Laboratories in Monaco, they got so much money, right? So they set up this huge fake organization they throw money in every direction in fact when they walk around they leave a trail of ten thousand dollar bills everywhere they go as experts from laboratories in canada china and the republic of korea the time of korea will participate in the sample collection team will also take part in sampling of fish from markets I'm going to go to the local markets and collect fish. True scientists. True scientists, David. Stunning their dedication. The results of the analysts is sarcasm, in case you're with the International Atomic Energy Agency watching this. The result of the analysts done by Health Canada, in Canada, who said 300 times background levels was irrelevant back in 2011. The third Institute of Oceanography, China, and the Korean Institute of Nuclear Safety. Should, um, members of the network of analytical laboratories and measurement of environmental radioactivity. So these are people you're supposed to be dependent upon. <laughs> They're cutting your throat, blatantly cutting our throats and the eight million species. Media opportunities will be conveyed towards the end of the week for the typical bootlicking, cheerleading lap dogs. Half of the Chinese are worried about Fukushima water release. Half. And the other half is worried about what's been going on for 12 years, Tim. I'm just kidding you. How many times have you showed that picture since July the 13th? I know everybody's rolling around on the ground. I'll wait for everybody to stop laughing and get back up again. About half of the Chinese are worried. About half. 62% have bought the lie. are worried about tritium instead of multiple nuclear meltdowns. 
Every time I hear the word treated, I want to pull the head off something with nuclear attached to it. The discharge from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disease factory damaged, damaged. Let me see, does that look damaged to anybody? A little bit of damage there, a little bumper bender. Following the International Atomic Energy Agency's conclusions in July, they, they haven't been there for the first 12 years, said they're going to have a permanent office there. They said now it's established. And, and when you read the headlines, it's obviously they're not even there now. In July, that the plan aligned with global safety standards, and the standards are based on natural stuff. It's not based on anthropogenic man-made radiation. The IAEA in 2011 admitted that there is no such thing as a safe level of radiation and that the standards are based on natural stuff, not anthropogenic man-made stuff. And what's interesting is you got every university, all the National Science Council, everybody regurgitating their ridiculous, dangerous, lethal narratives, I should say. And I'm not in exactly top-notch mode, but I still got to come out and challenge some of the assertions. It makes me sick not to challenge the assertion as often as I can. So even a short video is better than no video. Following the International Atomic Energy Agency's conclusions that the plan aligned with global standards, the communist-led International Atomic Energy Agency, as for Japan, were valid responses, valid responses. Notice there's never done a picture of that reactors is the pictures I showed you f for the last, since July the 13th. They've never shown us a single picture. Well, in the last couple of years, we've never seen anything of this valid. So, responses collected from a thousand Japanese, September the second to the twenty-fourth. Thirty-two percent, thirty-three percent of the respondents voiced concern. Thirty-seven percent were not worried or not very worried. And so, if you show people that picture, what do you think the response is going to be percentage-wise? 100%, 110%. Because it's, they got an International Atomic Energy Agency is could easily be described as the sadistic monsters. That would be more appropriate, I think. And the figures show that the Chinese citizens' reaction to the water release has been calm. <laughs> Show them that picture. See how the response is going to be. Yeah, I, I think it'll be. If you like and subscribe, click the notification bell if you think it's going to be crazy. This is what's really going on. Right? The reactors, if they show those reactors, then none of their stories, in fact, everybody worldwide will call for their heads if you show those pictures. <coughs> That's the International Atomic Energy Agency. It's a fish that sounds like a crow. <coughs> don't, don't worry, the aliens will come and fix it, Dana. And how do we get the aliens to come here and fix it? Well, everybody should make paper airplanes. Should we protest in it? Oh! Everybody should make paper airplanes. And then the aliens will see all the paper airplanes, right? They'll see all those paper airplanes, and then they'll come and fix it, Dana. I 
I don't, I don't know, don't ask me, because I got them wrong. There you go, that's the International Atomic Energy Agency. It's hard at work. There's Raphael Groshi. I'm not kidding you, that was Raphael Groshi sucking on Buddy's head. Do you get it? Right, so this is a very popular cartoon. The kids are saying, look at him sucking on his head. Nothing dirty about that. Nothing suggestive about that. For the, the brainwashed, indoctrinated. Among the Chinese respondents, 62.9% had a negative impression of Japan. How about you show them that picture? How's the negative impression going to work out for them, I wonder? South Korea's ruling party has withheld report calling for nationwide survey of the health impact of Fukushima dumping. There's, there's a health impact. Do you think there's a healthy impact going to be from this? And this is the picture they show you, right? But why don't they show you what the buildings actually look like? Does that sound stupid? Well, I can't show them the building, Dan. Uh, the story will fall apart. Opposition parties have criticized the agency's decision to withhold the study, suggesting that is was taking cues from the presidential office and the ruling party, which maintained that the Fukushima water is safe. Let me show you that picture. If you show you that picture, then that, that story doesn't work anymore, right? A final report on the effects. Like, how come you don't have a report on the buildings saying, well, the buildings are gone, the reactors are gone, the fuel pools are gone for goodness sakes. And just one of these buildings without the fuel pools is worse than all nuclear meltdowns combined worldwide that we know about. Just one of the buildings. There's four buildings, by the way, not just two, like I'm showing you. A final report on the effects of the contaminated water containing radioactive substances on the human body advises that a national health impact assessment should be proactively carried out in Korea as the effects of low dose radiation defined as below 100,000 microsieverts, 100 millisieverts. This is absurdness. This is absurdness. You don't measure this stuff in microsieverts. You measure it in physical atoms, beckles, atomic decays. <laughs> So they say, if you got a hundred, think of each microsievert as an atom, uh, 150 atoms. And think of 100,000 times 150 atoms. So, hang on, maybe, let me do this, wait, bear with me. My life's not screwed off enough, so. Let's see what the rabbit got. Uh -huh, the rabbit got. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So each each millisiever is a thousand microsievers, and each microsiever, think of it as around 150 beckles atomic decays per second. Uh-huh, 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 bear with me, I think we got it here. I think we got it. 
think we got it. It's a complicated question because there's so many facets. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. There we go, uh, one more. That uh, one. Okay, so irreversible heart damage for children with 50 beckles a kilogram. 50 beckles a kilogram. And there's 100,000 microsieverts in that statement right there. Each microsiever is 150 beckles a kilogram. But think about extreme increase in mortality caused by heart diseases. Uh, there was over 12,695 people died in a single month of heart attacks. There's many other diseases besides heart attacks and cancers, right? But what, like what they're saying is the human bodies have not been scientifically proven and the discharges the contaminated water function will significantly increase the dose of radiation the Koreans are exposed. The effects of low dose radiation as defined as below 100 millisieverts. Uh, 50 becks per kilogram in adults lead to irreversible lesions in their organs, so it's, it is well known, right? Nuclear radiation was carcinogenic thing that exists. The effects on the human body has not been scientifically proven, they said, but it has been scientifically proven over and over and over. It's the most carcinogenic thing that exists. And I, I think it's, it's heartbreaking that the entire academic community is the first ones to cut your throat. And that's exactly what they're doing by making a statement like that. By claiming that it has not been scientifically proven when it's, it's, um, it's clear that low level contamination is more dangerous than a single dose, it's clear. The strongest evidence, evidence to date that cancer is not only exists at low doses of radiation, but maybe even greater per unit dose than at a higher dose. And they're finding that girls are having twice as many tumors as boys. And Gunnarsson shouldn't be in that equation. He sold us out. It's just. Every step of the way, betrayal after betrayal after betrayal in the academic community, defined as below 100 millisieverts. Just a single atom will eventually trigger a tumor. In essence, reports suggest there's a need to uncover any unknown risk factors by analyzing the short and long-term effect of the discharge of contaminated water from Fukushima. Oh. Man. I'm not feeling good at all. Let's try this again. In essence, the report suggests that there's a need to uncover any unknown risk factors. I've been sick for what, seven, eight, nine days or something? Everybody down here got the flu or something, it seems. That's what I'm hearing anyway. By analyzing the short and long-term risk of the discharge of contaminated water from Fukushima and the Korean public's health, 
it's almost too much for me when I read this stuff. It's like when I'm putting this together to, to sit here and, and do this video, I'm, I'm heartbroken. It's almost like I lost a loved one. I'm that heartbroken by what I, the betrayal and the consequences of that betrayal. Plague, it's like a plague. Or I shouldn't use that word, I guess it plagues me. It haunts me, I guess is the best word. Oh, there we go. All hope is gone. A professor, expert in radiation disasters as the principal investigator. A, a professor. Let me show you. Never mind. If it does that, I'm just going to get upset. The study began in December 2021. In 2012, irreversible heart damage for children with 50 becquerels a kilogram or just gamma. That's 2012 they're talking about. Their study began 10 years later, eight months after the Japan government decided to discharge. They, can't, they haven't stopped discharging. The world doesn't care. The foundations don't care. Greenpeace hates your guts. Eight months after the Japanese government decided to discharge, the study was launched during the previous administrations. It came to an end during the current administration in South Korea. This is about South Korea, this horrific story. The report laid out specific conditions for assessing the Fukushima dumping impact on the public health, including complete disclosure. <laughs> I can't even laugh. The complete disclo disclosure of the total amount of each substance in the contaminated water being discharged. <laughs> complete disclosure. <coughs> Complete disclosure. The calculation of the cumulative total amount of radiation per person is based on the collected data, <laughs> not on the facts, and not on data, obviously. In addition, the report noted that its review of domestic and international literature showed that the pure panification capabilities of the advanced liquid processing system known as the ELPS has not been verified as casting doubts on the whole system. Cast doubt on the whole system. The literature, literature, the literature. And South Korea was dear, and they didn't take any samples. They sent 18 nuclear scientists to the site. They didn't take any samples of their own. The Alps. The Alps. So what is the Alps? So in 2014, three years later, the system had yet to function reliably, meant it had to yet to function. In 2014, in August, three and a half years later, the Arriva system, which is the same as the, the non-working Alps system, was unused, kept up out of operation, same as the Alps was. There was also the Siri system, that which was going to separate CC-137. So you can put 200 million atoms on the head of a needle. You can't see them. So how are you going to separate, say, 100 CC-137 out of that? Because you can't. 
can't be done. And so the Siri system, we never heard tell of that after 2013. The Alps and the Riva after 2014, at 2014 we knew it didn't work. And that the evidence clearly shows that the plant has already released enormous amount of highly contaminated water directly into the ocean from a plethora of leaks from the reactor buildings. And you can call it leaks all you want, but it's the buildings don't even exist. It's completely dishonest to call it anything but what it is. A massive scam. Not only that, the uh, groundwater bypass operation in 2014 they meant it didn't work, and that the fence, the, the, the billion dollar fence, which is literally the stupidest thing that I've ever heard tell of, you can't build a fence, and claiming that is leak, to stop the leak, leak. Mm. The buildings that don't have any inventory left whatsoever. And that the ice wall, of course, not meeting expectations. Why would you build an ice wall? Why not a, a real wall? Why would you do something like that? Because, and they claimed 260,000 people worked on the ice wall. <laughs> if you don't tell a lie, I guess you're going to go big. That's what they've done every step of the way, too. Anything but show you those pictures. However, the KDCA, which is the current ruling party in South Korea, decided in August of 2022 against disclosing the findings of the study until May 2024. <laughs> till next year. They're not going to show you the findings of a study that you paid for in South Korea because, and, and, and they, they say it right here, I believe, for, until setting an allowance in the Official Information Disclosure Act for not disclosing the information in the decision-making process or internal review process. And the agency, the South Korean agency explained the study was conducted as a preliminary investigation ahead of the discharge, ahead of the discharge. I just showed you the OP system doesn't exist, the Riva system doesn't exist, the Siri system doesn't exist, the, the bypass operation doesn't exist, the fence didn't exist, the ice walls don't exist. Agency explained the study was conducted as a preliminary investigation ahead of the discharges into the from Fukushima. We kept it under wraps due to socially contentious nature. <laughs> uh, my life would be pretty bored without nuclear. And be pretty fulfilled without nuclear. The current ruling disaster in Sir Cree explained that it would cooperate with other agencies and ministries to conduct a study on the impact of the public health, if necessary, based on research results. 45 days have passed since Japan began discharging the radioactive contaminated water. And the official story is nothing got editor. That's the official story. I think I explained it at the beginning. I think I got one more story to get through. We're 34 minutes in. Let's finish it, I guess. And parties clash. I believe this is so Korea again. Hang on. Over these are all from today headlines, by the way. Parties clash over Fukushima water release at the assembly audits. And so, why ain't protesters in South Korea? And we would have sent them placards like this so they can go and protest in the street. That would have ended the nuclear industry. And uh, on my birthday, uh, I was in a restaurant in the city, and this creature came in and sat down with a perfect line of sight at me in the next table. And there was many other options. There were a lot of empty seats in that spot, and he chose the one closest to me where he was staring right in my face, injected himself into my conversation, 
um, and um, understood the whole story of Fukushima's fallout in about 40 seconds. He was able to come up with the right answer. Guess who that was? It was the nuclear industry was stalking me on my birthday. Actually stalking me. And if you do it again, you're making a really big mistake. Don't ever do that to me again, Mr. Nuclear Scumbag Industry. Rival camps clashed on Tuesday over Japan's release of the contaminated water from the Fukushima nuclear plant during the National Assembly's Foreign Fear and Unification Committee's inspection of the Foreign Ministry. Yeah, this is South Korea. The ruling people's, or this is China. No, the ruling people's party denounced the main opposition's Democratic Party. There ain't no opposition in China, Dina. Inciting public anxiety and dealing blows to the fishermen in the fishery industry by promoting anti-Japan sediment ahead of the general elections with rumors about the wastewater. Can you imagine if the opposition party in South Korea brings a big placard six feet by six feet into, there is a parliament I believe they have there, is it? Or Congress, I can't remember. And Japan has a diet, maybe it's one of those creatures. Can you imagine if the opposition party brings in a picture and says, actually it looks like this. Can you imagine the pandemonium worldwide if that story imagine if a superstar tweets out that picture imagine if some celebrity tweets out that picture imagine if some musician famous musician or some celebrity or somebody with some social media influence uh, sticks that up in their facebook or instagram or twitter wherever Then we can have a conversation 12 years too late, unfortunately, but at least we can have a conversation. We can't have a future by pretending that didn't, by pretending that is not real, because that's what they're doing. All of their narratives that we're seeing, inciting public anxiety and dealing blows to the fishermen, like they've done with the farmers, they dealt the blow to the farmers. And damn it, farmers got to make a living, Dana. Well, if murdering you is how they make a living, and if they understood it, do you really think that, like, they're so complacent, they're growing food right alongside of one-ton bags of radiation. There's 30 million one-ton bags of radiation missing from the equation. There's multiple nuclear meltdowns and multiple fuel pools with decades of reactor cores in each one missing that have atomized and aerosoled. and were distributed worldwide after about 30 days. None of that is, there's nothing, there's no evidence in any of the conversations. The conversations are based on a fairy tale, a fictional fairy tale. Uh, I don't even think that's the right word. On a scam at the highest levels in all administrations worldwide are doing the same thing to us. All the, Professors in all the universities are gutting us and leaving us on the side of the roads to bleed out. The scariest, one of the scariest creatures on the planet is a professor. The ruling People Power Party denounced the main opposition Democratic Party for inciting public anxiety. But shouldn't that's, isn't that isn't what they're supposed to do? Democratic Party got his party accused the government of siding with Japan. That's, well, it's 100% true. Democratic Party Representative Kim Kong Hong says South Korea's delegation is to meeting of the contracting parties to the London Convention. You're talking about the United Nations, which is the International Atomic Energy Agency, which is saying nothing got out of there. I 
I cry myself to sleep most nights because of what I, I have nightmares about this constantly. My crime is, I'm honest. The Democratic Party said the foreign ministries refused the party's request to present a full text of what South Korea's delegation said at the session, raising suspicion the government's hiding something. Yeah, this, this, this is what they're hiding, what? That's what they're hiding. And uh, the show we done last night, the show we done last night was uh, processed about an hour before the show went live. But it, like, cause it, it'll run through the takes 100 minutes or something to process the high quality, right? And it'll do a countdown for me. It counted down right to one minute. I've never seen that before. Usually when it gets down to around 40 minutes, the videos magically just go, poof, it's high quality. Last night, it counted down to the one minute. I had to extend the start of the movie by 15 minutes, the presentation by 15 minutes, because it still wasn't... It was taking longer than normal is what it said, right? That went on for an hour. And I ended up extending the video, for, or the preamble for another 15 minutes. And it was finally shot up as high quality. I had a total of 15 thumbs up when the video was over. I've actually, it's, it has to be at least a decade or more since I've seen anything near that number. But this was a clip. Let me set this up for you. This was a clip. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in on the thumbs up. See the thumbs up after the video? Let me back up for a second. You can't see it. That's okay. This is last night you're looking at. So watch the... I'm going to bring that up on the screen. Hang on. It's a little fancy trick. This is last night's show. So I refreshed the page. I got zero thumbs up. I refreshed the page. I had 19 thumbs up later. And then it goes bloop. <laughs> Let me slow it down for you. So it's refreshing. When I refreshed, this was probably an hour later or something. It had 19 thumbs up. I'm just going to slow it down to um, 50 percent and I refresh the page and it goes bloop, 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 back to zero back to zero isn't that something they got no one to pick on so they got me barbarized they got me absolutely tortured. And I'm just trying to do the moral and ethical thing. Ugh, I'm going to have to stop here. Can't shake the headache today. Can't get rid of the flu on top of that. I'm doing better, I think. I feel like I'm doing better, but I'm... It's hard to... Now we had um, strong easterly winds for the last week. We got strong easterly winds for the next week. I was up looking at some of my launch places today. I still haven't tried to get the boat working. I think we got because I had a bunch. We had a bunch of rain. I didn't have the boat. The boat tilted back on in the garden properly. It was tilted a bit level. And so the Raycor filter was underwater, but water shouldn't get through the Raycor filter. And so I'm assuming that's why I couldn't get it started. And that's, like, that's what I got for you tonight. I couldn't get a full show in. 
Normally my show would start in an hour and 40 minutes. So I got to end the show. I got to end what we're doing here. I got to go out, I got to render it and crunch it down into a a smaller format, because right now it's around 40 gigabytes. So I got to get it down to less than a gigabyte. I got to upload the video and I'm not going to have a pre, uh, premiere tonight. I'll just post the video. And, but I, I won't, the video won't show up until it's high quality. Because otherwise you're going to watch a very low quality video when it first shows up. And I don't want to do that to you because the information is so important. And so when it shows up, it'll be high quality. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. And because of what you've done to me last night, I'm kind of forced from now on to do my shows even earlier each day, which is... It's madness. Right now I got an extra five hours work a day because they won't let me live stream. The hackers. The only people that are allowed to have a conversation is those who are regurgitating the lethal lies. These are lethal lies. We'll see everybody hopefully tomorrow night. I wasn't gonna do a show tonight, but I felt rotten that I don't have the right not to do a show. And so it's not a full show, but it's something. Have a great night. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks.